right we started the coverage um i want us to discuss the <coughs> the java se development i know you must have been introduced to the database right the history of the database how you're going to create table i believe that you know you all know how to do that yes. how you're going to create table how you going to to insert into the top table, how you're going to drop it, how you're going to truncate, and then loading of data. I don't know whether this topic has been discussed. How you're going to load data from local and file into your database, and all that. Abdul uh, we're going to dwell on this. Uh, I think uh, uh, later after the class, you meet. Where is Abdullah? Okay. Abdullah should start with you from either Abdullah or any one of them. Not necessarily Abdullah, anybody should start with you how you how you, you interact with the database, the commands used for the operations of the database. All these are part of the uh, they are part of the topics to be covered. And then at this point we begin the Java GUI, Java GUI. This is where we start GUI. So, uh, uh, normally, for us to develop GUI or console, I recommend that uh, students should use Eclipse. And for the GUI development as well, you should also use Eclipse, right? Because uh, it enables you to understand what you're going to be doing. I don't know, like you cannot, can you see uh, as it is like this? Or maybe you shift for her. Or somebody should get in here. Okay, shift, shift on. Then you shift. So, Let me just give you a general overview on the Eclipse itself. This is Eclipse. Okay, let me close it and open it and uh, load it again. I've already painted it. You know, Eclipse is not being, it's not installable. Rather, it is just executable. When you get your Eclipse, you unzip it or you extract it, then you double click on the, the, the .exe file. And then it begins running. This I've already zipped it. I've, I've already painted it on my tax bar. And then it will load to this environment where we call it workspace. Workspace determines or uh, it means uh, a folder where all your work in Eclipse are kept. For anything, if your system is looking, if your application is looking for any resource or anything, it goes to the Eclipse. I mean uh, Eclipse workspace and you pick it from there. So all these were being saved where in that mm -hmm. Eclipse. Before we run ours, let's test one application which tends to be due. Before then let me load uh, NetBase. I want us to see the difference before we begin. So you know where you are headed to. Actually, before it loads, Java, Java is having three different editions. Java editions. One of the editions is called Java SE, and then Java EE. Then we have Java ME. So this, now it has run. Java SE is used for the development of desktop applications. Desktop. While Java EE is used for enterprise desktop applications development. Well, this is used for enterprise 
applications and this is used for micro micro applications that is the micro edition <coughs> the SE stands for Java S standard edition while EE means enterprise edition and, uh, and uh, micro editions these are the ones we use for embedded systems like uh, phones and uh, microsystems so enterprise and uh, okay there is right and this enterprise edition comprises applications that are uh, having very large number of users and they tend to be web based okay so now a good example of java se is this avran this is an application we developed for long. I think I developed this application since 2017. Yes, but we keep updating it. It's for a school. They are using it for their the management of the, their student and all that. So if you look at this, this is not a console app. This is a, a GUI app, mm -hmm. application that has GUI, graphical user interface. You enter your username. See whatever if it is root, maybe you want to go for root, enter username and password, and then you press enter. It enables you, it authenticates you, then you can click on anything. So maybe you want to capture student. This is where you capture students. That's student registration. And when you save it's it push it to the database and all that. At the Java SE, if you are able to come up with a development like this, then I think you are done with the development, with the technology. Then you forge ahead to begin integration of uh, other things like um, um, gadgets, gateways, and all that. So this is uh, the expectation. You develop an app that has UI. If you click, it takes you. It, it pops up something, and then it does. Now, if I click on, uh, say, submit. You see what? Please check your entries. Mm. There are issues because we have not made, we have not done anything here. Yes. So nothing has been entered. Mm. This is what we call validations. Then, from the side of Java EE, we recommend students to use NetBeans. Uh, it's easier. You can use Eclipse. Uh, to me, I use NetBeans for Java EE, Java SE, I use and Java SE and and console and use uh, Eclipse. So for this, let's run an example here. Before it runs, let's begin do doing something. Here. Let be, let's begin with some other things. Some things here. This is the cons this is the the IDE. IDE means Integrated Development Environment. It's an environment that enables you to work, to develop. Right? Yes. Environment that enables you. You know, if I want to type later, I go to MS Word, right? Mm -hmm. If I want to do some kinds of calculations, I go to Excel. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. No, I want to program. I want to write code. Where do I go? Which of applications or which of the environment that will enable me to do the development? That's why we call them IDEs. Mm -hmm. IDE stands for integrated development environment it is written this way ide ide and java ide are many we have the eclipse <coughs> the eclipse the netbeans the j creator the j grass the dr java there are many. Visual Studio, Vivi, VS Code, right? VS Code. Things like that. There are many, many. You could have over 20. IntelliJ and all that. While others are proprietary, or some are open source and free. Now, 
uh, I think I'm going to close this. Uh, we don't with it. It's just an example. I just want us to understand what we needed. So now. Uh, This is what we call Eclipse ID. Okay. And um, as you can see, this is the package explorer. And we have our menus up there. We have the menu bar. We have the standard toolbar and all that. And we have the three buttons for closing, for, for minimizing, and for. This has run. Now, this is an example of. Java, uh, Java EE, uh, Java Web, mm -hmm. right? You see, this is web based. It's running on browser, this browser uh, Firefox. And um, if you check in, the technology is web based. But the functionalities, if you click on a button, if it requires any functionality, we use Java to embed. But everything is web based. Mm -hmm. So that's just what I want us to understand. So now let's start doing some things here. I want us to start developing GUI. For example, this, uh, let me remove this so it doesn't confuse. Anyway, no problem. I want us to start with something like this username, date or back, age. Or let's do something, let's create something different. I think it will be good for us to, because after this class, I will give you this assignment, I will send this assignment to you. You're going to create something like this. So let's imitate. Let me just create all of this without the images and all this. So uh, we want to create something like this. How do we start? Now you come to Eclipse. Then you click on File, click on New. And then you move to Java. Java what? New Java project. <coughs> oh, okay, so let me magnify for you to see. Let me ask you. I hope you see now, right? Mm -hmm. Then you put in the name of the project. What name? Let's say CCL enrollment. CCL enrollment. Enrollment means registration, right? Yes. Uh, it asks you whether you're going to use the standard, I mean, index, I mean default uh, uh, JDK 17. That's the version of the JDK. We recommend you to, to install newer JDKs. We have JF 17, 18, and all that. So then you click on what finish. It asks you whether you need uh, a module. We don't need Mudu for now. So can you see CC enrollment? Yes. Then you click and right click on it. And then you go to new class. Then you write the name of the class. You know Java is all about classes, right? Yes. Write name of the class, let's say enrollment. Let's say student enrollment, for example. Sorry, this is package name. Name of the class will be here. If you want to give, uh, diff uh, if you don't write anything here, it put, puts all or everything in the default. Mm -hmm. If you want to give it a pack package name, package name is the reverse of domain name. You can now see com dot cloud soft. Consulting. That's the package name. CCL. Sorry, the project name. CCL what? Enrollment. All right. 
So this is package name. Now it asks you whether you need the main method. Yes, we need it. We need constructor, we need all this. Then you finish it. After clicking on finish, it opens to this. So we don't need this <coughs> anymore. It opens to this. This is our class name. Please let's see, let's look into the um, what they call these uh, the structure of the program. Can you see the package name we have written? Mm -hmm. And under each one class is there, but mm -hmm. they are all under source. Right? Mm -hmm. And this is our library, the GRE. The GRE is GRE 17. This you don't need to touch anything here. This comes handy from the Sun Microsystem or Oracle, the owners of the Java program. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then if you click, if you double click, it opens to this. Button. So that, that's how you're going to have many classes. No realistic application is having one single class. It's not possible. We don't jump pack things into one class and begin to call on it. It's not. You have many classes, then um, we define the classes, the class modifiers and all that uh, based on how they are going to be used. The same, package. same package or different package. You could have more than one package in one, one single application project. You could have many, many packages. All right? So, and then, you know, what you do, you categorize classes that are of same category into one given package and others into one. But you know, package communicate with package within projects. Because package is also a, a, an object, all right? Class is an object, okay? And the project itself is an object. In Java, all resources are objects. So how, do, uh, how does a package communicate with another entity inside another package or another class inside another package is pending how you define the package or the class mm -hmm. so uh, let's start that i want us to have general overview about this maybe in the next 20 minutes or so we'll be done with this class the first thing is that we have a package called com the class of consulting or the ccl environment right the second thing is that we have public i mean this is the name of a class Public is a specifier. It is the resource specifier. While class is the keyword. Keyword. Anytime you are to declare a class, you have to write a keyword called class. All right. And then this tells you that this class, this is the class name. Student enrollment is the class name. This tells you that this is a class. This class keyword. And then this tells you how this class is going to be interacted by other objects in the because we could have private, you could have uh, the, the, the specifiers we are having, the uh, uh, access specifiers we have, or modifiers, sometimes we call them modifiers or specifiers. We have uh, the public, we have the defaults, we have the protected, and we have the private. So, so wh when it is private, when it is public, all other resources could access this class mm -hmm. within the same package and also within the same project. Look at what we're talking of here. Yeah. This is what a project. Under it, we said we could have many, many packages, right? Mm -hmm. This is one package. I could have another package. I could have another. So when I defined it as public, all all resources could access this. Okay, so maybe you will tell you understand what this is to do. We don't need this to do, and this is also to do. We don't need it. But sorry, I've erased something. All right. So you see, this is what call this is the class identifier or the class name, and this is what the 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 delimiter open brace that 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 tells you that the class begins from there. The class starts from here and ends here. All right, look at it. If I click, it highlights this. It tells you that this is the end of what? And what is this? This is what we call constructor. Constructor is a method that carries same name of the class. This is where we do what we call initialization of variables. So then, end of the what? Constructor.
And then this is what we call a main method. And this is the end of it. This is the end of the main method. Are we there? There has to be a main method in, in at least one class of within a pro project. At least if one class has main method, then you're done. But a Java project without many methods can will never run. It will run. So now we want to design we want to design something like this. CCL program or CCL enrollment or something. So let's begin. I don't want us to take much time. Now uh there's <coughs> there's all code J frame and you now see extent J frame so it will inherit all properties of this J frame. J frame has a class built in class by James Goslin and his crew. Right? So with this now you can now begin what are the things we need? Uh -huh. So this is CCL enrollment email ID program, right? Yes. Maybe we say, it's okay, CCL number, let's say name, CCL number, email ID and program. Or something. So let's say private. I want to define the variables we're going to be using. Private J text to your statement can you see uh, an error message here if you click it tells you that you need to import something because we need what huh? we need something Java's Java that swings as an input if you click <coughs> They will click it, it imports. Can you see? It has imported two things, all right? JTX field, Java swing, and this. Uh, this JTX field is TXT, CCL number. What again? Email. Maybe I'll, uh, when we meet tomorrow, we're going to do things that has to do with drop down menu that is called program combo box but for now I mean I'll just use the program as, as t txt I don't want us to discuss many things so uh, students shouldn't have pro problem problem of we call it program all right but here if you import another thing that's how it will keep giving you this 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 since it is Java that swings you can remove one you can remove all and import everything. Swing dot asterisk. I don't know whether you understand. This import the entire swings or libraries. But you know this tends to to be somehow because the libraries are in thousands, and while loading, if somebody who didn't do this, his program will run both you know faster than yours. Only that uh, your program the code will not be somehow very less. Yes, it's, it's an idea. So this now, I want to define what this name is. So you bring it. I said it's where we do initialization of variables. This, this is what we be, you know, constructor. So you bring it in here and say what, J what, J text field. Then you define. Okay. Before then, we have not done label because if you look at what we have in here, we have text field here and we have what label here. This is a label. So let's create label. <coughs> then we do the declaration. Uh, initialization at the same time. J label. Then for label, this is a convention. For label, we call it le LBL. Mm -hmm. Right? LBL name. Okay? And then LBL what? CCL number, thank you. Then what? Email. Email. Then LBL what? program thank you so now actually we do start with level so let, let me start with level first because level comes 
first before the uh, the reward name, right? Equals to new. I want to create like a, a new object. New means you are creating an object. Okay. I'll be on this. So this is what the user sees from the what from this on the screen. You now see what name. Anything you write here, if you like name, full name, whatever. Just say full name. Full name. Are they no same word? Is is it correct? Yes. Okay. So then next is what? It'll be our seal number. This is all called code guessing. If you press shift control uh, space bar, it to it to guess what, what is to be written and give you a list of codes. Shift control shift space bar. CCL number. LBL LBL what? Email. Email. So look at it. LBL. I wrote LB, LBL E. Control space bar. Can you see? It brings something that is. And then new. Gel <coughs> level. You know, a developer needs to be fast. Yes. You know. LBL what? Program. Right? Program. The program. This is supposed to be combo box. We're going to discuss combo box tomorrow, inshallah. <coughs> program, huh? Yeah? What? Full column? Then to the TXT. TXT? TXT name? Because to new the text field what full name. Mm -hmm. full name no 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 this is txt you don't write level no, you just give it a uh, space or or kind of length of characters you want it let's see 15 it's a level you put in what is needed there to be displayed on the Screen. This is also just length. Email address. CCL number might not be off to that. Okay, let's let's take some email. TXT email. Uh -huh. Email. Let's go by fifteen. Then lastly. Um, what email 15 oh well, maybe when we run we're going to do something so this is from the side of this we don't with this but before we put this onto our screen there's something we call mm -hmm. the entire of this this frame we call it jframe but before JFrame, there's something we call panel, JPAN. So you need to create it as well. Okay, create it right from here. Private, JPanel. Just give it panel. You could have more than one panel. You can have three panels: main panel, one panel to the right, one panel to the left, one panel above and and below. It all depends what you're doing. <coughs> so then we have panel. Panel equals to new J panel, right? Mm -hmm. You don't write anything in J panel like this. That is it. It has been declared. So within, then you do one thing. You add all your components on J panel and J panel on J frame. This is J frame. Before you put in J frame something on J frame. You put all your components, name and panel, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then you pick panel onto JFrame. Mm -hmm. Do we understand? Yes. So let's now see 
as a comment adding panel adding component on the J panel. So how do you do that? You now say panel dot add add what? The component, right? You see it has guessed, but that's not what we wanted. It's is LPL name first, right? I think or CCL number. It could be CCL number, the letter name. Yes, let's go by that. Can you see? This is what we added on it. So let's test this. You see only it on the on the something. Okay. So this is what we do. When you add panel, this is what we have done. CCL number. Then you add what TXT this and it. Do you understand? You add this to the left, and then where somebody will write to the left, to the right. Yes. So let me add at the same time panel. Panel dot add. Txt. CCL number. Are we there? Now I added only two components. So then I'm going to add. I'm going to add the J frame on what? On the J panel. Yes, J panel. Yes, it's the J, J panel you are adding on J frame. So, for the J panel, you use this keyword to represent it. This dot add. This dot add what? Then you now see panel. If you run, it will not show anything until when you say this dot. Um, set title. The title of the window. The title you now see CCL enrollment. For example, for students or well, CCL student enrollment. Huh? I don't write it in this. This dot set set visible. You say true. This is boolean. Yes, that you want you want to see. You say yes. Otherwise, it will not show. This dot set set size. Then give it in dimension. Maybe two fifty by two fifty. I think so. So with this now, when I roll, you're going to see something right now. Uh -huh, you don't. Not yet. This is very confusing. Nigeria, very good team. Allah. Now I'm collecting a duo on you. Okay, you want to connect to the projector? Mm, so that will check. Okay. I think you can do it here. The user connect. What's up, Ben? No, uh, check that um, that system. Take, take it somewhere. Let me use that, that place. <coughs> okay, all right. There's something I have not done. Then you call the you call the object of the class within. You know we haven't written anything here. You call the object of the class here. You must not put it on top. Just use any cubicle, any dex dex here, since it is a testing. Then you run. Can you see? 
but the size is not all that okay, right? And where is it coming from this side? This is only one thing. Yes, that, that's that's what we did. That's what we added. This is what we added. Uh, that's what we added. Yes. Is it? Let me increase the size. Let's see. Can you see? Huh? But it's too large. I think something like. Huh? Let's say 350 or 450. Hmm? So now let, let me, I'll give you a summary. You're going to complete it yourself. Okay? So here, see cell number. When I add another component, then it shows. The next component is full name, right? When you now see panel. To add. Add what? That would be your full name. Good morning, how are you? How are you? You're going to complete the rest of the living right now. TXT. Can you see? But the name is somewhere, so we need to adjust the because no any manager of layout. So maybe we have to reduce it to the formal thing. Yeah. Right, so you go and complete the rest. Mm -hmm. By tomorrow, I would like to see it from. I would like to see it run. It's cute for you. We're going to stop here. Let me stop the video and.